Hey guys, it's Russia and welcome back to my channel. So my hair is washed and we're gonna get this flexi rod set started. Super nervous, but I'm just gonna keep putting out positive vibes and hope that makes it go well. So for products, I'm gonna be using the Aunt Jackie's Curl A Lot Defining Curl Custard. And then for my sealant, because I noticed on a lot of videos, people use like some sort of mist or like a pomade or something to like seal the ends of their hair onto the flexi rod. I'm using the Oyen Handmade Burnt Sugar Pomade. And this honestly, smells so good. I'm also going to be following Juliana Palencia's video. She's actually the one that kind of inspired me to attempt to do this. So let's just get into it. Also, I got a set of silk scrunchies from Amazon and they came with like nine. So I'm going to make sure to link them down below. Okay, so I have my first flexi rod. I'm going to straighten it out and we're going to get this going. I'm so <laughs> nervous. I'm so nervous. Okay, let me do this side first so that you guys can like actually see it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go with this. So I'm gonna take some of this curl a law. Of course, five seconds, five seconds into this video. They said to make sure that like your hair is like really detangled so that way it can like seal onto the flexi rod better. So I'm going to This is like the technique. Oh, this is hard. This is actually really hard because your hands are like slippery. Like what the heck? Okay, so I have to like bring it a little down because I'm supposed to curl the top. So, okay, I just don't, like I want this to come out nice, you know? Cause this is gonna take a lot of time and effort and I would just appreciate if it came out nice. All right, I'm taking some of that pomade and I'm sealing. All right, we got one down. <laughs> we got a whole bunch more to go. So I feel like the back of my head is gonna get difficult because I literally can't see. So we're just gonna keep going. This is, this is, you know. It's not as bad because I feel like I actually thoroughly looked up and watched videos before doing this. The last time I attempted to do this was pretty much a joke. And yeah, so glad that I like found a tutorial that's actually pretty helpful. I feel like I'm gonna clip this side off because it's kind of like it keeps swinging in my way. Who actually knows if this is gonna come out right? You know, I need to just stop being negative and just hope and pray for the best. You know, I actually do think that it'll come out nice. I feel like I'm taking my time. I feel like I'm thoroughly moisturizing my hair. Like, you know, I feel like this is gonna work out. Another flexi rod. I also don't know the size of these, so if you comment down below and ask me what size these are, I'm really not going to have a response for you because I have no idea and I don't know where the packaging is. I'm pretty sure I threw the packaging out. I'm also doing these early in the day because I'm really trying to avoid sleeping in them. I do not want to sleep in these because the last time I attempted to do these, I slept in them and I did not sleep. Like, it was so uncomfortable. So, I don't know how people sleep in these. Like, are you sleeping upright? Like, because these are so uncomfortable. I, like, don't know how they do it. So, I have used three flexi rods so far. Do you guys use CoStar? I, like, don't believe anything that it really says, but I like to read what it, like, decides will make me feel nice for the day. It says, hold everything to the light of, inqu of inquiry. Hold everything to the light of inquiry. All right, whatever that means. I feel like I'm, like, putting way too much product in my hair now because on this side, like the product wasn't like spilling out on my hands, but now it is, so maybe I need to relax with the defining custard. I feel like my sections are also getting bigger and bigger. And Juliana in her video, she definitely um, brushed out her ends with like this, I think it's like a wet brush. And I thought I had one of those, but I guess not. So I'm not using that. But like it seemed from her video, one of the make it or break it's for flexi rods is sealing the ends or like making sure the ends are smooth. And also from videos I've watched, like you really have to make sure your hair is fully dry. like fully dry before you take these out and that was the next mistake that i made last time i tried to do these i definitely did not wait till they were fully dry i just took them out and that causes them to frizz so okay maybe i do have some skills <laughs> if you know me you know i, I really do not like doing my hair like not one bit but you know still in quarantine phase two starts monday so excited we could go eat outside um 
so yeah i i feel like during quarantine i've learned to you know be patient take my time with my hair do my hair enjoy the simple life and I, I can't complain i actually this is actually kind of relaxing i also don't have anything else to do i don't have a job and i'm out of school so it's like what else am i gonna do all day All right, we are at the final section. It is 2.43. So I want to say this has taken me maybe about an hour and 20 minutes, um, which is not terrible. Can't complain about that. And I'm just so happy. I feel like this is going to come out really nice. I really hope it does. <laughs> but I, I just have a feeling it is. It just looks like this looks uniform right now. So I hope that it comes out like nice and smooth and everything. So yeah, let's just get this last section done i'm putting in product in this big section i started midway like i remember when i was over here i was telling you guys that i feel like i was putting in too much product so what i started doing is like taking the one section that i wanted to do and then thoroughly um putting in the curling custard onto that one big section and then dividing it up into smaller sections just so that i don't have too much like extra product on my hair because like i said before i, I have a fear that my hair is just gonna be like rusted over over, um because i put too much product in it so but yeah i gotta focus on my ends because my ends are just like so dry and i really need to like trim my hair properly i trimmed my hair i want to say like last week but i definitely did not take off as much as i should have i just don't want my hair to be like really short <laughs> but i do need to eventually trim my hair to where it needs to be so that it grows in properly all right here is the last section of hair this is so weird like i feel like i have like I feel like I need to be tapping around for like another section that I have to do. Okay, so we are done. I'm really proud. It didn't take me that long and I feel like it looks pretty uniform. So I'm gonna go under a little like hooded dryer. I don't have like a real hooded dryer, but I have one of those like heated deep conditioner apps. So I'm gonna go under one of those and get this like starting to dry. Uh, but I think I'm also just gonna use the blow dryer a little bit too, so. So this is the little deep conditioning like cap that I have. So you pretty much just flip the switch on here and you plug this into the wall and it blows out either low, medium or high heat. Um, so I'm going to keep this on medium like I usually do for my deep conditioning. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. It is the next day. It is like... 9 45 i'm really tired <laughs> but i wanted to show you guys me taking out the flexi rods i don't know if you guys can tell but i definitely lost a few in the process of um sleeping in them and as well as just letting them dry throughout the day yesterday as you guys know in yesterday's video i definitely did not want to wear these overnight trying to sleep because it is really hard to sleep in these and my hair definitely wasn't dry by 11 p.m so i just didn't want to risk it um just because i also already had this many fallout this is nine flexi rods that fell out of my head yesterday so yeah i don't really know exactly where all of them are i can't really tell so we're just gonna get started in taking these out and i'm gonna be using a little bit of coconut oil to help with the process of taking them out as well so let's get into it so we're gonna start off with this like first one right here i'm like so nervous because i feel like in the beginning i thought it was gonna come out nice and then i started to have my doubts <laughs> and my doubts oh do you guys see that wait this actually looks kind of good oh what okay maybe i did that okay i was just so nervous because they kept falling out so i'm like this is gonna come out terrible but this actually looks really good you guys see that okay let's keep going i'm like also really tired so i apologize for the low energy i just like i have to go to home depot today i told myself i was gonna get up early and like film this for you guys so oh these are actually coming out really nice do you see these 
that looks actually really good okay let's keep going let's do some on this side let's see what look at this look at this but you know for an attempt i think that they're not too bad they're not terrible This one, yeah, this one is gonna be bad. I can already tell. <laughs> the, the end looks crazy. <laughs> like, look at this. <laughs> All right. So my hair, <laughs> it looks like really, really flat, but I think that I accomplished something. So I'm gonna like take it out and like fluff it because it looks really a little too uniform. Oh no, wait, what is happening? This looks really bad. Oh my God, I'm like taking it out and then when it comes out, it's like springing up and it just looks like spaghetti. <clears throat> oh my God, do you see this? <laughs> no, I really had high hopes. Oh my god, this is terrible. This looks crazy. Okay, I'm gonna keep taking the rest of my hair out. Okay. So as you guys can see, my hair looks crazy. I don't even know what this is. Like when I took it out of the flexi rod, it had that like nice, you know, curl. But then I would, you know, I watched the videos and it said to separate the curl. And clearly when I did that, it just went downhill. This definitely was a fail, a big, big fail. I really had confidence in myself, but clearly it didn't work out. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to leave a comment down below. Make sure to like this video to help support my channel and subscribe so that you guys can see me here every Wednesday and Sunday. I'm also trying to get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So please be sure to subscribe to help me reach that goal. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.